Welcome back, beautiful family. Today, I want to share with you a very delicious and easy blueberry muffins that I know you guys are going to love. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. these homemade blueberry muffins these are the ingredients baking soda baking powder pinch of salt lemon juice vanilla extract milk at room temperature granulated sugar unsalted butter eggs at room temperature blueberries all-purpose flour and of course the non-stick baking cream that you already have on my channel let's make this amazing muffin at home especially in this cold weather so let's get started i first want to start with my unsalted butter that is at room temperature it's really soft really manageable i am going to add the granulated sugar i'm going to incorporate it with the spatula once everything is incorporated i'm going to add my three eggs these muffins come out really soft, moist, and fluffy. You're going to love them. The lemon of one juice, the vanilla extract, the milk, and then we are ready to incorporate everything really good, all the wet ingredients. Once they are incorporated, we are going to add the dry ingredients. I'm adding half of the all-purpose flour. I'm going to add the pinch of salt, the baking powder, the baking soda, and of course, I'm going to add the rest of the all-purpose flour. We are going to sift it. We want these muffins to be really fluffy, moist, delicious. The texture of this mixture is going to be thick, but I am sure you are really going to love these homemade muffins made at home with lots of love. I'm going to incorporate everything really good. Always remember to preheat your oven to 350 Fahrenheit. So by the time you are done getting this mixture ready, your oven is nice and hot before you put your batter inside. Well, now I'm gonna help myself with the spatula. I'm gonna clean the sides really good, making sure that I got everything and everything is nice and coated. Look at this, really soft. Always use room temperature ingredients. Your eggs, your milk, everything needs to be at room temperature, especially your butter. And now I'm gonna put this aside. I have my blueberries. To the blueberries, I'm going to add one tablespoon of all-purpose flour. This is so that the blueberries don't go all the way to the bottom of the muffins. They stay in between. Once you add this, then with your spatula, incorporate it. Fold everything together until everything is coated. All the blueberries are completely incorporated into the batter. Look at this. I really love blueberries. And in this blueberry muffin, my gosh, with this cold weather, I am really going to enjoy these muffins with my family. The holidays are here. Why not? enjoy this with your beautiful family i have my non-stick baking cream that you already have on my channel using the non-stick baking cream all your goods are going to come out perfect they're not going to stick to the bottom or to the sides 
they are going to come out perfect. There's no need of adding butter, then adding all-purpose flour, removing the excessive flour, or adding lard, and then adding the all-purpose flour. This is a one-step cream. Very easy. It lasts in your refrigerator for a very long time once you make it. And I'm going to continue covering and getting this all my little containers covered with this amazing nonstick baking cream and here i am going to fill it to the half of the container because it's gonna get so fluffy that i don't want the bread to go overboard look at this these muffins really come out delicious and fluffy i hope my friends you make up and you enjoy them with your beautiful family look at this I am going to continue getting the rest nice and filled. And when they're nice and filled, I love topping them with just a little more of the blueberries, adding just a couple right on the top. My oven is getting nice and hot, 350 Fahrenheit. And now I'm just topping off with blueberries. After you top them off, you could just put them in the oven and start cooking them. They're going to come up perfect. But I want to take them to another level. I want to add the crunchy right on the top. And I have two tablespoons all-purpose flour, three tablespoons of brown sugar, half a tablespoon of cinnamon a pinch of salt and one tablespoon of unsalted butter i am going to really incorporate everything really good with the fork it's gonna get nice and crumbly this crucial really tastes amazing and like i said you could put your muffins in the oven but if you want to take them to another level where they're nice and crunchy from the top and you could really taste the cinnamon and the, all the crispiness on the top where then you add this amazing this amazing part i'm gonna just add one tablespoon right on the top look at this just add them on the top take them to the oven cook them for 30 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean from the center my muffins cook completely in 30 minutes but every oven is different let me show you from close up how this looks i didn't fill them all the way to the rim they're only half ways these muffins come out really fluffy and delicious Okay, I'm going to put them in the oven and I'll see you when I get them out. Once you start smelling the aroma of the muffins and the blueberry, then you know that they are ready. When the toothpick comes out clean, that means they're done. Let me show you how easy it is to release them. Adding the non-stick baking cream really makes the trick they release very easily there's nothing behind nothing nothing in the behind and look how soft look how moist look that the blueberries are all over the muffin look how delicious this looks i am sure that once you make them you are really going to love them i really love this recipe I had to eat it with a glass of cold milk, but let me show you how moist and how perfect they look from inside. If you liked and loved this recipe, please leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share this video so Cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Thank you so much for always being here, being part of my family, enjoying my delicious homemade recipes from scratch. I'll see you in a bit.
completely done with this amazing and delicious homemade blueberry muffins. I am sure you guys are going to love it. Perfect for the holidays and perfect for this cold weather. If you like and love this recipe, I invite you to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, share this video on social media with your friends, with your relatives, so Cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Don't forget to push that notification bell, and if you did, leave it activated so every time I make an amazing recipe, yes, you're going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of Cooking with Gloria. Like, subscribe, and share, and see you on my next amazing recipe. Happy holidays. Bye-bye.